Once you purchase the Pro Panel, you're going to get to a page that has this View Content button. To get your download files and your license key, simply click on this button here. Here on the right, you're going to see the download button, and then here you're going to see your license key for activation. If you miss that initial page or you purchase from your phone, you can always access that View Content button from the email that you receive upon purchase. With this email, you can retrieve your download and your license key at any time in the future. Once you've downloaded the files, you're going to see a Pro Panel zip file in your downloads. To unzip this, simply double click on it. Next, you'll see the Pro Panel folder appear in your downloads. Double click on that, and in it, you're going to see your files. So, for this first example, I'm going to show you how to install the plugin version, otherwise known as the UXP version of the Pro Panel. This version works in Photoshop 2021 and higher. So, if you've recently updated your Photoshop, then this version should work. If you have an older version of Photoshop CC, simply skip to the next section where I go over installing the CEP version of the panel. So installing the plugin version of the panel is super easy. All we're going to do is just double click on this Pro Panel plugin.ccx file. It's going to open it up in the plugins manager. Simply click on install locally and then click OK. And you can see with just a couple clicks, we have the Pro Panel installed in Photoshop. So go back to your email or the web page to get your license key and highlight it. And then use the keyboard shortcuts Command C to copy it. And then go back to Photoshop, locate the panel, put your cursor in the panel and use the keyboard shortcut Command V to paste your license key. And then click activate. The panel is going to load and then you can reposition the panel anywhere you would like. I usually put it right here so I can show and hide it as needed. At this point, you're good to start using the Pro Panel. If you need to change the language, you can do so from the settings. It'll automatically just set it to whatever language you have in Photoshop set already, but you can manually change it as well. Also, you can turn the tool tips off and on by clicking on this button here. For reference, you can always check out the videos for the Pro Panel on the website by clicking this bottom link here. And here you'll see all the different videos for every section of the panel, as well as the premium start to finish editing videos available on the site. Again, if you don't have a recent version of Photoshop CC, you're going to follow the steps in the next section to install the CEP version of the Pro Panel. So the easiest way to install on a Mac is going to be the auto installer. So first you're going to open up Photoshop and just go to the home screen. Don't open any type of document or anything. Go back to your files, double click on this Pro Panel manual auto installer click on this autoinstaller.jsx file here and just drag it right into Photoshop. It's going to say you're about to run a script. Just click yes. And this box here will pop up. Or alternatively, you can go up here to file and then go to scripts and then browse. And then go to your downloads folder, select the pro panel, open up the manual auto installer. And then you'll see that JSX file there. You can click that and click load. So to do the auto install, you're simply just going to click auto install here and then click in the box, you'll see this message, and then just click OK. And it's going to tell you to restart Photoshop. So you won't immediately see the Pro Panel here under Extensions. You're going to have to go to Photoshop and then quit. And when you reopen up Photoshop, and then go up to Window and then Extensions, you'll see Pro Panel here. So just click Pro Panel, and then it will open up in Photoshop. So here you're going to enter your key. So first you're just going to go back to your email or your Downloads page, and then highlight the key and then hit Command C to copy it and then go back and then here in the box just Command V to paste. So one thing to note is you cannot type this. So if you type it in, it's going to say that the key is not valid. It has to be copied and pasted. So to do that, use the keyboard shortcut Command C and Command V. And then after you activate, it's going to tell you that the panel was successfully installed and to restart Photoshop. I'm not going to activate this right now because I'm going to show you the manual installation as well. But one quick note, there is an uninstall feature here in the top right corner of the panel, as well as tool tips for you to turn those off and on, and also a button to reset the settings for when you downloaded it. One also thing to note is that you can resize the panel to be skinnier. By default, it shows up wide, and that's because it is designed to translate to different languages, and the languages need to fit on the buttons when the panel is wider. So after you've activated it and then close Photoshop and then reopen, you should see a fully functioning panel. If you don't, then follow the steps in the next part to install it manually. 
To do the manual install similarly, you're going to open up Photoshop to the home page, but not open up a photo or a document, and then go back to your files and locate the Pro Panel Manual autoinstaller.jsx file and drag that right into Photoshop. And then click Yes, and then open up Extensions folders, this time instead to install manually. So click Open Extensions folders, and you'll see these two Extensions folders pop up here. So you can really paste the Pro Panel folder in either one of these. I prefer just the one with the other Photoshop. So I'm going to go back to my Pro Panel files here. I'm going to right click on the Pro Panel folder, click Copy, and then I'm going to paste that right into the Extensions folder. So this is going to ask you for your password or your Touch ID. So you need to have administrative privileges on your computer. And then you're simply going to go up here into Photoshop and then quit Photoshop and then reopen it. And when you go up to Window and then Extensions, you're going to see the Pro Panel there. So again, go back to your email with the license key in it, highlight the license key, Command-C to copy it, go back to Photoshop, and then Command-V to paste, and then click Activate. So this will tell you that you have registered successfully in a restart Photoshop, and it will also tell you your user count activations. So quit Photoshop, and when you reopen up Photoshop, and then now when you go to Window and then Extensions and Pro Panel, you're going to see a fully functioning panel here. And again, you can resize this to be skinnier because this is designed to work with multiple different languages for these buttons. But if you're using it in English, then you can use it in its smallest form here. Again, you can turn off the tooltips by simply going up to the tooltips and turning this off here. And this will turn them off or you can leave them on. They come on by default. And you can also click on this bottom button here in the left corner to watch the videos for the Pro Panel on the site at any time with an internet connection. Now, for some reason, you did the auto install and the manual install, and neither of those resulted with the panel in Photoshop. The last resort is going to be the ZXP method. One thing to note is that the uninstall might not work for the manual installation, in which case you just open up the extensions folders and then right click on the pro panel folder and then move to trash. And you'll be required to use your password or your touch ID again as well to uninstall that. All right, as mentioned, the last method is going to be the ZXP method. So this is the ZXP file here. And you're going to need a ZXP or an extensions installer. So I like to use Anastasia's extension manager. It's a free download. And then you just click free download here and then download it for Mac. And then once that's downloaded, locate that in your downloads. Double click on the zip file. And double click on the actual application. And it may prompt you to put in your password. And this is just asking if you want to move it to the Applications folder, yes. And then once you have this Extensions Manager open, go back to your Downloads files in your Pro Panel folder, and then go and locate this ZXP here, and you can right-click that and open with Extensions Manager. It should be by default. And put your password in one more time. And then this box will pop up saying, Installation was successful. Please restart Adobe application. And then you should see the panel. If for some reason you have any issues at all with the installation, you can reach out in the chat here on the website or shoot me an email at info at and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And thanks again for buying the Pro Panel. I can't wait to see what you create with it.